once again welcome to ascent tutor today we are dealing with radical equations that is equations involving square root signs so we are asked to solve the equation square root of 5x plus 1 minus the square root of 3x minus 5 all equal to 2 good so here our first thing is to send one of these terms across the equal to sign to the left hand the right hand side and we, i prefer we send a negative one to simplify things so here we get our square root of 5x plus 1 equal to 2 plus the square root of 3x minus 5 very good and in mathematics for us to deal with a square root sign we have to introduce our square so we square both ends of the equation that is we square the left hand side and you square the right hand side so the square this with the square root sign the beam behind 5x plus 1 equal to expanding this we have 2 plus square root of 3x minus 5 being multiplied by the same thing which is still 2 plus square root of 3x minus 5 well we're not getting 5x plus 1 equal to 2 times 2 giving us 4 2 times root of 3x minus 5 that gives us 2 root of 3x minus 5 plus root 3x minus 5 multiplying 2 still gives us 2 root of 3x minus 5 and finally root of 3x minus 5 multiplying root of 3x minus 5 simply gives us 3x minus 5 5x plus 1 giving us 4 plus having 2 root of 3x minus 5 added to 2 root of 3x minus 5 simply gives us 4 root of 3x minus 5 plus our 3x minus 5 good 5x plus 1 will be giving us we can do some multiple here we have 4 minus 5 that gives us 1 sorry negative 1 and we're having our positive 3x plus 4 square root of 3x minus 5 so now we group like things we see the number over here we see the x2 over here so we're having 5x minus 3x that is the positive 3x cos equal to sign you become negative 3x plus our 1 plus 1 again because our negative 1 cos to become positive 1 equal to our 4 square root of 3x minus 5 this gives us 2x plus 2 equal to 4 root of 3x minus 5. If you are quick to observe, you see that we are having 2, 2, 2, which are multiples of 2. So to solve this equation, we divide 2 by 2. That is the first term divided by 2, second term divided by 2, and the other term divided by 2. This gives us x plus 1 equal to 2 square root of 3x minus 5. Of course, the 2 over here is just a 2 here, that's it. Again, we are still having our square root. So now we have x plus 1 equal to 2 root of 3x minus 5. So still we have our square root over here. So we have to still introduce our square. That is, I square the left hand side and as well as I square right hand side because an equation good what you have to note is that having a plus b all squared gives us a plus b multiplying a plus b note two separate terms but having a b all squared that's a single term will just give us a squared b squared to so note that it's a continuum so from this part, I get x plus 1 
multiplying x plus 1 equal to now this is a single term so i square them individually that is 2 squared gives me 4 and note the square will take care of the square root sign leaving behind 3x minus 5 very good i have to expand this bracket over here so we have x times x simply gives us x squared x times 1 gives us x 1 times x gives us 2x and 1 times 1 gives us 1 equal to expand this bracket again 4 times 2x gives us 12x 4 times x5 gives us negative excuse me 20 some point term over here i have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 12x minus 20 so yeah still good black terms getting my x squared plus 2x here yeah, i send my positive 12x across the equal to start turn is 2x and that gives me minus 12x plus 1 Again, I set my negative 20 across the equal to sign. That gives me positive 20 equal to 0. I now have x squared 2x minus 12x gives us negative 10x plus 1 times 20 gives us 21 equal to 0. We now have a quadratic equation and I have to solve for x. We have to solve for our x good so now this our negative 10x can be broken down to two factors of our constant 21 and we'll be using x squared minus 3x minus 7x plus 21 equal to 0. please note that the sum of the factors should give you back your negative 10x and the product should give you your constant 21 good now we then group these terms here into two separate terms that is the first two terms that is x squared minus 3x and here it becomes minus 7x minus 21 equal to 7 so here we then factor out the common factors in the in each bracket so here the common factor is x so we bring x out leaving behind x minus 3 minus the common factor here will be 7 so we will bring 7 out even then x minus 3 equal to 7 you can observe that there is two components again x minus 3 x minus 3 that comes out x minus 3 and this what's left is x minus 7 so that is x minus 7 all equal to 0 we then equate each bracket to 0 taking the first bracket we have x minus 3 equal to 0 this gives us x is equal to positive 3 in our next bracket we are having x minus 7 equal to 0 and that gives us x is equal to positive 7 so therefore we are having x to be equal to 3 and 7 good this is our final answer like the video comment on it and we'll get back to you thank you